Hi everybody, hope you're doing okay. I'm back with another recipe video. And um, today I am gonna do a play on a raw vegan bounty. Now, bounties are a bit hit and miss for people. It's not really something that I usually like with um, as a bounty on its own. And every time we've got the celebrations, I would always not eat the bounties, but this one, is so much better i'm gonna say um so yeah let's get straight into it so what we're gonna need we are going to need some we are going to need some walnuts so we're gonna put walnuts in there there's about 200 grams okay i've got my little helper joining me now so we're just gonna put some dates in um got some walnuts in there just about 200 grams they've been soaked overnight and then we're going to put some dates inside as well and basically blend them so we're just going to get the seeds taken out you can take some of these seeds out these ones are okay they don't have them and yeah you just want to get the these put into um kind of like a a good base like a, a doughy it's going to be sticky um dates have a lot of sweetness like sweet but healthy they have a lot of sweetness they do darling yeah they are very healthy so i'm going to blend that up and i'm going to see how it is if i need to add more dates in i will because you want it to form into like a ball yeah uh, like a date ball a date ball well we're not making that we're really making a chocolate cake well yeah we're doing a play on like a co chocolate coconut um Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll get blending. Okay, so that's been blended for a little bit. And then now I'm just gonna add in some desiccated coconut. So I've got some here. Just gonna go in. And then I'm gonna blend that up again. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in some cacao and get that in the bottom. If you don't wanna use cacao, you can use a uh, carob. Um, yeah, I want to have a, a, like a chocolate base, basically. Um, so I'm just going to put in a teaspoon and then get that mix in. So you will just have to scrape the sides and get that going again. So you might have to do this a few times to make sure it forms. You st you'll start, start seeing it form into a ball and it will start... Um, taking everything and collecting everything and just be one ball basically so you might have to do it for a little while longer okay so that's looking good to me so if you find that it is a little bit too wet you can always add more coconut desiccated coconut um or you can add in some almond flour as well or um if you've already got that so now we're literally just going to transfer this um onto a tray and start flattening it down basically i'm just gonna move this camera so you can see them. so get it all in and this could be the base for a brownie as well. It's, it can be a base for anything and then you can start to um, add in, change it. Um, but yeah, this is like a base, a base for any kind of like cake really. You don't have to put in the cacao, you could um, add in anything. You don't even have to use walnuts, but I find walnuts are the better nut out of all of them. Walnuts are very good for your brain, that's why they replicate a brain. Um, so they're the nut I kind of use. I do use a bit of almonds sometimes, but I usually add that as like a, if it's the flour, um, I'd use that, but the base is the walnut really. And obviously it's important to soak your nuts. Um, I've soaked mine actually overnight. I'd say a minimum is seven hours um because it helps break down the enzymes and inhibitors and um helps with the digestion as well so 
Um, okay, so I'm just going to flatten this out now and get the base done and then I'm going to pop it in the freezer. Okay, so this is uh, the base. Uh, it's all being patted down and it's now going to go in the freezer and then I'm going to get on with the other elements of the uh, dish. Okay, so I've got about a cup worth or a cup, just over a cup's worth of dates and then I'm going to blend them up and uh, get it into like a paste with a little bit of um, warm water um, because they've been soaking to soften basically. So I'm going to get them blended now. Okay, so the dates have gone in there with warm water and they've gone in the paste. Sorry, I got distracted with my daughter when I didn't show you, but I've just put some cacao in there, just about a, tea, a tablespoon, uh, and I'm going to blend that up again. And if it's, um, you need to add more water because it's quite a thick paste, then go ahead and add more water. Okay, so this has been blended and it's uh, now into a paste. So this is gonna, um, yeah, go on top of the cake. I've just realized there's, um, there's a seed that was in there. From a date, oh. from a date. From a date. Luckily, it didn't disintegrate. So that was uh, lucky. I thought I could hear something actually. So this is the kind of texture. If you want it a little bit more uh, wet, you can. It just obviously needs to stay in the freezer for longer. So we're basically now just gonna spread this on top of that um, base we've just made earlier. Okay, so let's just get this. I mean, this on its own is so good. Like, um, so yeah, with all the other layers, it's all gonna be amazing. So just get this on top. And then, then blend, uh, just, yeah, just flatten it down with the back of a spoon. My daughter's uh, tucking into the lid <laughs> um, of this, so getting all of that chocolatey date mixture. She's happy. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy, is it? So usually with the kids, they like, um, what is it? Because they haven't made a normal cake in so long, but that is that battery um, mixture that they love, isn't it? But it's all full of sugar. There is no sugar in this recipe whatsoever. It's healthy, it's no preservatives, it's, yeah, it's guilt-free. <laughs> so, um... Ow, I hurt my knee. Oh, darling. <laughs> Are you okay? My bad. Okay, so now that's all there. I'm literally just going to scrape this on, make sure it's all even, and then just get it back into the freezer. And then while that's freezing over, I'm then going to make the kind of, um, what makes a bounty a bounty, which is um, the coconut. Can you try and make some of that uh, paste, are you? Yeah. Um, the coconut um, kind of, uh, filling in the middle of the bar um, and that is going to be cashew based with coconut so I'll make that next so there are a few steps but you don't have to do this step if you don't want to this is just I'm taking this because I'm doing a like a come dine with me oh I don't oh thank you she's brought me the offset uh, offset spatula but I don't think I need it love my dad is try yeah um, so uh, this is why I'm going and elevating it a little bit more. Can I just um, with this? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, one minute, darling. Uh, I always do like to have these little bars or like I had some um, chocolate coconut um, balls in the freezer. Just for the little one as well. If she wants like a chocolate snack. And I've got some readily available. Yummy chocolate in my you know? tummy. Yummy chocolate in my tummy. And for me, sometimes I get that chocolate craving, you know. I mean, uh, and then it's there she for me. Eat, she doesn't eat cooked food. I know I do. Only you eat cooked food, yeah. Yeah, but you... my mum doesn't. She's like great. We're both vegan, but with my dad, I'm vegetarian. So <laughs> it's all different. Yeah. It's a long story, so I don't think <laughs> I can tell you. Basically, I was vegetarian, then I went, I'd have missed the vegan. Yeah, she had she had chicken, meat, and, and, and fish. Yeah, and once she's upon a same. time I did, now I don't. Once yeah. upon a time, she realised it's not healthy, so she, <laughs> so she just went vegan. And you've never eaten meat in your life, have you? Ever? I've had, 
have had chicken. Yeah, yeah. by mistake. Uh, but um, holiday club. It's a club, but holiday club. Yeah, they gave you chicken on a pizza, didn't they? Yeah, cherry tree. I chose it. I chose chicken. Did I chose you? it. Yeah. I like chicken. <laughs> yeah. But not like from a rooster or something. Not like from a rooster, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't hate. I do not like roosters. So that is all flattened down now, and we're going to get in that in the freezer. Okay, and now the next bit we are going to put in the filling, and this is going to be cashew based. And like we put some of them in the other pot, so we might, it looks like we're going to do the same one, but we're not. We're going to do it different. Yeah, so. Mum, I think gonna, you dropped one of them. I dropped a cashew, did I? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put some coconut. Coconuts. In here. Get a good bit because you want to be able to taste the coconut, coconut rice. They look like coconut rice. Let's just call it coconut rice. I've got some 100% Canadian maple syrup. Canadian maple syrup. And then I'm going to pour. Pour. Yeah. Looks so, guys, it looks so familiar, doesn't it? And then we're going to blend. Familiar. And if you need to add a little bit of water. You can if you want. Yeah, so you want to make sure this is smooth, so you might need to blend this for a little bit to make sure it is really smooth and there's no lumps. You can do it for three, four hours, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can blend it for three, four hours, but yeah, maybe three, four minutes, not even that long really, but depending, we'll yeah. see. Imagine if you did it like a hundred minutes, that would make it really smooth, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. It'll break, it'll break it. Yeah. Break the... F okay, so uh, yeah, there's a little bit of smoke that's come off that, has been... Um, Blending for a little while because I really wanted to make sure that it was smooth, like silky smooth. So keep going until you get that silky smooth um, kind of texture. Ideally add coconut water if you've got it, great. If not, normal water is fine. Um, and just taste it. Does it taste sweet enough for you? If not, add some more. And I've just realised I've got the dehydrator on. I've got the um, distiller on as well. So probably a lot of background noise going on. So apologies. Um, for that, it might be a little bit distracting. So I'm just gonna um, leave that to set in the fridge and then I'm going to then add it onto the next part of the cake, okay? Here is with the cashew cream that has been put on and that was put in the freezer and I just left it overnight basically. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna basically cut it into kind of bar shapes and you can have it as big or as little as you want. And then I'm gonna add my own chocolate, uh, raw vegan chocolate on top and then I'll sprinkle some coconut. So, um, and then that'll be it back in the, the freezer for maybe another hour and then it'll be done. Okay, so I have just put these in cubes and I'm literally just coating some chocolate on top and I'm just messing about with decorations, see how I feel I want it. But I am just gonna coat the top in um, uh, raw vegan chocolate uh, and I've got a recipe already on my channel for that if you wanna check that out. Um, so yeah, they're coming along great. Okay, and here they are finished. I've put the chocolate on top and they will, um, yeah, just really hold really well and last for a while if you um put them in the freezer um so i was going to sprinkle some coconut on top but yeah i think you can add that if you want to or you can add any sprinkling if you wanted to have more nuts but um i think this is good you don't even have to put this extra layer of uh, chocolate on if you want this is um the chocolate on top is um cacao um so i've used cacao butter maple syrup and cacao powder so that's all raw vegan and like i said that is on my youtube channel uh, my chocolate recipe there so it can show you how to make that so i hope you found this useful and you are inspired to make your own so um yeah enjoy have a blessed day